What's going on, everybody? I'm Jory Goodman at The Time Teller. Welcome to another installment of Things That Keep Me Up at Night podcast. It's funny because recently, the most recent episode, in fact, on The Time Teller channel pertains to crime and watch-related crime. And the unfortunate thing is now, in 2022, it's difficult to talk about wristwatches without mentioning crime, and it's difficult uh, to mention crime in Los Angeles without also mentioning wristwatches. They seem to be going hand in hand nowadays. And so, yeah, it brought me to kind of this this three-part in a series so far i'm sure that it's going to be an extended series because these crimes don't seem to be slowing down at all uh and man i should have had some popcorn for the comment section because people they seem to be either totally on board with the fact that like yeah california is now a hot dumpster fire and then there's another side that's like oh well um you just can't hack it here California's always been bad and and it's our city and, and go back to the countryside New Hampshire boy like there's literally people writing to me being like oh well, well why don't you go back to the northeast then huh why don't you go back into the woods this is the big city and I'm just like dude you you guys think you're tough because you live in a terrible area that doesn't make you tough it doesn't make you cool it, it makes you kind of weak that you're choosing you're you're like uh gleefully willfully ignorant you're turning a blind eye to all the bad things around you because you don't want to confront it and, and hopefully change and, and help the situation you want to just allow it to keep going because it's easier for you it's more comfortable for you and um i just wanted to make this because i got a really funny comment i, I, I was about to record this episode and then i looked at my phone and i got a notification of exactly what i was referring to Someone who, I might be reading into this a bit much, but I think they're one of these passive-aggressive people that are taking it personally, uh, that I'm speaking badly about the state that they so love. Um, this person writes, not everyone can make it in LA. Sorry you're leaving. Again, it wasn't like overtly a mean comment, and I'm open to all kinds of comments. It just, it came off as like, oh, you, you just can't hack it here. Like, go take a hike. And it's funny to me because, yeah, I guess I guess you're right. I guess I am just an oversensitive underachiever, but it's not just me. All right, it's definitely not just me because um, it's me and like everyone else. Now I'm gonna tell you something real quick before we get into a list of over 200 uh, companies that are leaving the state of California. I, I want to get something out of the way. Number one, it's not like I don't have a dog in this fight. Okay. Because I do live in California. I am a resident of California. I'm a business owner in California. Uh, and I am technically a Cali native. I know, it sounds weird. Uh, I was born in Santa Monica, which is in Los Angeles County. Uh, and then when I was like three, we moved to New Hampshire, where I lived for like 20 years. So I um, am probably like the least Californian Californian, but still technically, you know, a, a born Californian. Not born and raised, though, thankfully. Now, for my uh, YouTube viewers, because again, this gets uploaded on YouTube, things that keep me up at night, uh, we'll leave a link in the description. And uh, of course, you can find this now on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, and Anchor. But I'm pulling up something from buildremote.com, and it's every company leaving California from 2020 to 2022, updated June 29th. Um, so it's not totally up to date, but it's close enough. Uh, we have some companies that have employees over a hundred, not the age of a hundred. They have over a hundred employees. Um, Norton LifeLock, Question Pro, ASGN Incorporated, XO Jets, Varro Bank. Um, let me see. There's a bunch. Pabst Brewing, Arctic Wolf, CBRE Group, Hewlett Packard Enterprise, Oracle, OpSWAT, Lion Real Estate Group, Digital Realty, Align Technology, Education Media Foundation, Green Dot Corporation, Wedgwood, Snowflake, Landing, Wiley X, Smart Wires Incorporated, Kaiser Aluminum, MD7, Acom, Ninja One, Homelight, Global Foundries, First Foundation Bank, Tesla, Nexon Tire. Um, let's see, there's a bunch. Hyperion, Chevron. Okay, these aren't small companies. They're companies with over 100 employees. Now, there are some companies with under 100 employees. I know what you're thinking. Okay, these tiny little mom and pops. 
Not exactly. Joe Rogan Experience, Daily Wire, uh, Gordon Ramsay North America, The Rubin Report, American Technology Network. These are no slouches, guys. These are pretty big companies as far as their reach and influence and things they are doing. You know, when we look at Tesla and Hewlett Packard and the Joe Rogan Experience, Daily Wire, you know, say what you want about any of these companies' politics. Uh, the truth is, though, these were companies that were huge contributors to the state of California. These are people, like, I'm going to be honest, as a Californian, we could use their tax dollars, right? Well, guess what? They are leaving and they're taking their businesses with them. So the best of the best, the highest contributors are leaving the state of California because California is in disrepair. And then the people that are struggling to live here that don't have the resources or the wherewithal to get the heck out of the sinking ship are stuck here in a crumbling city or county or state. It's it's miserable. So, um, yeah, Joe Rogan experience. I mean, he's probably the top podcast in the world. Uh, famously signing a $100 million deal with Spotify. Daily Wire. Uh, they are a political media group, but uh, they have surpassed Disney recently uh, with their streaming so, yeah, Gordon Ramsay, North America, of course, he is a restaurateur, famous chef. These are pretty uh, world-renowned companies at this point. And again, they're taking their money and themselves the heck out of here. So, if you're going to claim that, you know, yeah, I guess not everybody can make it in the big city, kid. Yeah, me and some underachievers like Elon Musk and Joe Rogan. Okay, I guess I'm in some good company. But another thing that these people in the comment section are harping on is the fact that, oh, well, you know, crime's gone down in California. Crime's actually gone down. So you're just, you're making mountains out of molehills. Well, it's because they probably pulled up this from Public Policy Institute of California, where it says, uh, there's this, there's this subtitle here, troubling spikes in homicides and aggregate, excuse me, troubling spikes in homicides and aggravated assaults appear to be waning. And if you read that, it's like, hey, that's good news. That's really good news. And if you type in crime in California, crime spikes in California, this is the first thing that comes up. Unfortunately, though, it's from March 21st, 2022. That's, that's, the, um, that's the most recent uh, update. And um, the unfortunate part is when you look at the actual text, you realize that uh, nothing has changed. So troubling spikes in homicides and aggravated assaults appear to be waning right so we see that uh let's see here you look at the graph we're, we're pretty much exactly where we were at the beginning pre-pandemic okay so we started in one area it dipped a little bit then it went up and uh congrats we are right back to where we were pre-pandemic with crime so to claim that um they seem to be waning that is misleading especially when we take a look, and, and I'm going to mention some of these numbers, don't worry. Uh, we see the four cities saw some disparate patterns. Okay, the number of homicides in San Diego remained unchanged in 2021, while Oakland's jumped by 36%. San Francisco and Los Angeles saw an increase of 17 and 13% respect, uh, respectfully. Okay, robberies decreased statewide, according to this graph. Um in 2022 by 14%, but rose about 4% in 2021 in the four major cities. This was driven by a no notable jump in Oakland, almost 20%, along with a 6% increase in Los Angeles. These increases brought numbers back up to roughly where they were at the beginning of the pandemic. So th there, they said it for me. So this subtext here, the subtitle, I should say, troubling spikes in homicides and aggravated assaults appear to be waning. Okay, well, when you look into the actual numbers, it shows that, no, we're right back to where we started. And don't take it from me, guys. Take it from, um, let's see, Bloomberg. Los Angeles murders are up 35% in two years. Interesting. Because everyone here is telling me in the comment section that crime's actually down in California. Uh, but this was updated at the end of June 2022. And it seems like... It's getting worse. Los Angeles murders up 35% two years. Dang. Um, how bad is crime, according to the Los Angeles Times? Well, when we look at this article from um, 
just a couple months ago, homicides in Los Angeles hit 397 in 2021, the most in more than a decade, and a 50% increase from 2019. Dang. So yeah, it's well, but of course, because this is Los Angeles time, they have to end it with, but well short of the 1,000 deaths reached during the years in the 1990s. So we're not as bad as the 1990s, guys. All right. But it's a 50% increase in two years. So, but guys, it's not the 1990s, but it's a 50-50% increase in two years. Now, um, there's something here from the Los Angeles Times, but because I've been on uh, this site and I'm not paying them $1 for six months, they're not uh, going to let me show it to you guys or read it, but we can read it here. Starbucks to close six Los Angeles stores due to safety concerns. We can actually see it here. Um, Starbucks plans to close six stores in Los Angeles uh, and 10 in other major cities because of what it says are safety issues, including drug use and threatening behavior. Interesting. If things were getting better, why is Starbucks leaving? Man, I guess they just can't hack it, those underachievers. Uh, and again, guys, don't take it from me. If things are getting better, then why is LAPD putting this area safety bulletin? We are sharing this. This is from LAPD HQ's verified account. We are sharing this community alert in an effort to increase awareness of a series of robberies occurring in the city of Los Angeles. This is from... Uh, let's see, 2021. Interesting, interesting. Yeah. And this has been reposted recently, like within, let's see, end of last week, this was reposted. So this is, so, you know, LAPD knows that, that things are getting worse. So yeah, guys, I understand that some of you want to have pride in the community that you reside right? Um, you love California. You love your county. You love your city. You love the street that you live on. That's awesome. I'm not trying to sap any of the fun or pride or memories that you may have of this, this area. Because let me be clear, California is a beautiful state, man. Where else can you go snowboarding, then surfing, then hanging out in a desert all within a few hours? Like, California has amazing geography, great food, uh, amazing diversity, culturally, uh, beautiful women. Man, let me tell you about the... I wish they all could be California girls. That's going to get me canceled. <laughs> Are you sexualizing women? Yeah, dude, I'm, I like girls, whatever. Um, but the truth is, it's getting bad, guys. And it's getting unlivable here. And I do have a dog in the fight because I am a business owner. I am a resident. And I want the place that I live to be good. And let me tell you something about why these companies are all leaving. Yeah, it's safety concerns, drug use. There's rampant drug use just out in the open. Um, me being a watch dealer, you know, you can't have a watch on your wrist because you're going to get it robbed and potentially harmed or killed in the process. And um, you get the insult to injury is that while all of this terrible stuff is going on, your taxes are just going up, 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 and up, right? So if you own a business in California, good freaking luck. You're getting hammered by taxes. And then where's the money going? Because homelessness is on the rise. It's filthy, the, the cities that we live in. Crime has increased, as we can see here, and um, it's, it's just generally unsafe. I mean, 50% increase in murder. So it's not like we can see a clear indication of our ta tax dollars at work, except for our politicians becoming incredibly rich, but that's for a different show. Um, so yeah, maybe I'd be a little bit more okay with the crazy tax bills we get here. If I could see that this was like a bastion of cleanliness and all the amenity, it's like, it's like if you go to a gym or a hotel, right? And the, and let's say like the, the monthly membership for the gym, uh, is $200 a month. Hey man, that's a pretty nice gym. That must be like, a, like a country club or something, right? Hey, you got the, uh, uh all the different, you got cucumber water, you got like, uh, nice mahogany lined locker rooms, uh, with people there holding the towels for you and um 
Oh, would you like your, your clothes uh, dry cleaned while you go work out, sir? Oh, would you like this? There's doormen, this and that. And then if I was paying, you know, a few hundred dollars a month for that membership, I'd be like, okay, this is, hey, this is pretty, this is the high life. But if they were charging $200 a month and um, all the weights were rusty, it was like a damp dungeon, there were no lights, there were like homeless people there strung out doing drugs and you might get killed going in the gym, I'd be like, dude, what am I paying for? That is Los Angeles. Same thing applies with, with like, if you're going to, if you're going to pay a thousand dollars a night at a hotel, you would hope it would be like the Ritz, right? That's not the case here. We're paying a thousand dollars a night to live here and we're getting, I don't I don't know, not the Ritz. That's what I'll say. So, be safe out there, guys, and don't let people spin things and, and, and try to uh, gaslight you into, into believing that what you are seeing is not actually happening. Because I'm here to tell you, as, as a fellow resident and business owner, it is happening, and it is getting worse. And I understand why people would want to spin it into the positive, but, but you are not the delusional one. They are, okay? And... I really pray, hope and pray that California gets their stuff together. I don't know if I want to stay here long enough to find out though. The second I'm ready to go, I'm ta- I'm I am taking my business and leaving. So guys, yeah, I had to make this because this is clearly something that keeps me up at night. But stay happy, stay healthy, stay blessed. Maybe I'm off base. Let me know in the comment section. I'll catch you on the next one.